All right, we're in one of our favorite spots. I'm going to lead you through a simplest whole body stretch that is going to open up your breathing and just make your whole body feel kind of stretched out and reset. You can do this anywhere. You can do it at home or anywhere that you are, but if you can, get outside and ideally get into natural surroundings like in a forest. You can do it in a park. You can do it in your backyard, but ideally get into a forest or get into a space where there's a lot of trees because that'll have the most benefit for you. A lot of times people won't take the time to get to a spot like this. I really think it's important to try to get into nature every single day if possible. And if not every day, just as many times as you can. And it doesn't have to be for a long time, but as many times as you can a week, even for 15 or 20 minutes, try to get surrounded by nature. The impact that it has on your body is a lot different, both on your physiology and your psychology. So with this stretch, it's very simple, but the details matter. So here are the details to pay attention to. Take a few moments just to stand in the space and feel um, calm and composed and still. So you can take a few deep breaths if you need to and just on the exhalation, you just completely relax. And you wanna feel like you're rooted into the ground, like, like the trees. You wanna feel like your feet are basically extending roots into the ground and just really strongly anchoring you to the ground. Your body should be relaxed, your mind should be relaxed, but your feet should be strongly engaged, your toes should be engaged like they're grabbing the ground. When you do that, you should feel like your body is naturally suspended because when you engage your feet and your toes like that and kind of grip the ground, it kind of activates the whole elastic suit that runs through your whole body and kind of gives you more of a suspension. So if you're doing that strongly, then your heels will naturally float up a little bit. It's not, you're not standing up on your toes, but your heels should be, should feel like they're super light on the ground instead of the weight being rooted into your heels or the pressure being rooted into your heels, you're grabbing the ground. So that forms the natural um, arch of your foot and your heels naturally float up a bit. Also, pay attention to the position of your feet when you're standing. Keep your feet straight and keep them close together. You don't need to be in a wide stance. Don't, don't stand with your feet out. You want to stand with your feet right under your hips, so not too far apart, and your feet pointing straight. You want to have a lot of spaciousness in the body and just feel light and not compressed. So a lot of times when people are standing, they have their hips kind of thrust forward. You want to feel like everything's being pulled back and wrapped around your body, not forward and collapsed in, but almost like the feeling of pulling a bow and arrow. That's the kind of feeling you want, that the strength is all rooted in the backside of your body and through the ground. So you have that really strong, rooted feeling and spaciousness in your body and then you're going to keep that and then you can just bring your arms up and put your fingertips you can either interlace them behind your head or you can place them kind of beside your ears whichever whatever feels comfortable for your shoulders and from there you're just gonna as you inhale you pull your elbows back as far as you can And as you exhale, you bring them together, okay? They don't have to touch, but you just bring them together as much as you can. If you can get them to touch, that's good. If not, that's okay. You just, you don't force it, but you just go, you keep the integrity of your whole body as a whole, and you just go as much as you can. Exhale, and then inhale, pull them back. So it's not just your elbows that you're pulling back, but you're pulling everything in your whole body is like opening up and stretching back like pulling an elastic exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale now when you inhale you do it through the nose with the mouth closed 
And when you exhale, you exhale through the pit of your throat with your mouth closed, like if you're going to fog up a mirror, but you do it with your mouth closed. So your inhale through the nose, exhale through the pit of your throat, And you can do that as many times as you want, as many times as it feels comfortable. Then you can just relax the arms, drop them down. And then you're just gonna reach from side to side, just down your leg. Okay, you notice when I'm doing it, it's not just a, a direct lateral side bend, but there's a it's also a rotation. So just feel the natural way that your body wants to go. It shouldn't feel like you're putting any strain anywhere. Keep the space in your body, keep the strong um, rooting into the ground, stable, stable foot platform, and then you're just gonna reach down your leg and up, back to the neutral position. Just breathe naturally. Okay, and then you're just gonna reach forward for the ground. When you do this, still keep the same details. Grab the ground strongly. Don't, don't bend forward and just collapse into your feet. Never let the feet collapse. Keep them actively grabbing the ground and push your hips. The first move should be not bending forward, but pushing your hips back as far as you can. You wanna clear as much space as possible clear as much space as possible and the, the further I push my hips back the, the easier it is for me to just drop down and reach with my arms to the ground. You can rotate from side to side. You shouldn't have any weight in your heels. My heels are are not even really touching the ground. They're just naturally suspended. My weight's rooted through the balls of my feet. And my toes are engaged. You can wrap your hands around the back of your legs, lower legs, and pull yourself more into the stretch gently. And as you come up, don't compress the hips forward. Keep the hips back, send your tailbone back and keep as much space between your tailbone and the crown of your head as possible. E elongating the spine as much as possible. And come up, feel lots of space in your body. And to end it, you're just gonna take three breaths as you inhale you're going to feel your whole body activate even more and rise up so your heels float up off the ground and as you exhale you just drop back down and let your body just shake naturally so we'll do that three times in total starting now Just feel the relaxation and the space, but the connectedness of your body and the connectedness of your body also in relation to the environment. That's why it's important to do this out in a forest or somewhere natural if you can, because it'll be easier to feel that harmony. 
you can stand for as long as you want. It's kind of like a standing meditation. You can keep your eyes open and take in the surroundings or you can close your eyes. And when you feel ready, you just walk away and you feel kind of renewed. Enjoy your day. I hope that was helpful.